to my channel so I'm here in Colorado I'm in Breckenridge right now this is our first day we just drove in picked up our skis we go skiing tomorrow I'm really scared I haven't been skiing since I was like literally eight years old but we did used to go like I think we went five years in a row when I was little so I've been quite a few times just not in a very long time so that's gonna be tomorrow but I wanted to show you the beautiful background and you saw us I'm traveling in driving earlier today and it's freezing my hands are getting really cold out here but it's actually not super cold today it's supposed to snow for the next three days while we're here I'm so excited so very exciting things happening um, we're gonna go back to the house and cook a little something I think it's like fajitas and taco salad so excited about that um, but we're gonna go home and I'm gonna watch some ski training videos because I haven't I need to brush up <laughs> but I'm very excited um, the flight went well the um, day yesterday in Denver was great and um, honestly today was really great too we just chilled we had a lot of time in between check out from the hotel and check in in Breckenridge in our little cabin but yeah super exciting and I can't believe this beautiful view so I will check in with you guys later and I'll see you then Airbnb now it's a log cabin and I'm gonna show you a tour we're shoveling a path thank you for your valiant efforts oh my god your snowboard was under there that's not okay so here's our cabin on the left and there's our rental car rental car but you walk down and I gotta be careful I'm wearing some duck boots so I should be good in the ice all right then we're walking on in take my shoes off we've got so we have sour cream our half bath down here it's actually pretty spacious for a half bath honestly okay we walk back out that's the garage the kitchen the living room we love a good floral couch really nice show you our view to our backyard neighbors pretty much dining room table the boys were working hard cleaning off this deck we have a deck and a grill they're gonna grill on another night but beautiful just surrounded by trees pretty much all right we're going downstairs we got another outdoor area and a hot tub very excited about that okay we're gonna keep going down loud stairs and we've got one two that's a bathroom and three bedrooms hey oh. <laughs> set this down in the laundry room but we got a full bath over here very spacious pretty much the same layout as upstairs and then we've got bunk room yeah yeah mm -hmm. wouldn't be a ski trip without a bunk room <laughs> and then we got bedroom number two with I think it's a queen and then the master which I don't think I have the lights on yeah we don't have a light in here but here's the bed and connecting fireplace and connecting sh 
tub and shower <laughs> and then the, the toilet and the double sinks pretty much but uh that's pretty fun with that uh fireplace great view <laughs> so that's uh that's the entire Airbnb. So yeah, that's the whole house. It's pretty nice. Um, honestly, I'm used to like log cabins when going skiing, so this is great. Um, but it's very warm in here and it feels great. And they've started on dinner. Um, Ryan is cooking along with um, a few of the other girls while the other guys go shovel. And I'm gonna probably start on a cheese board so we can have some nibbles before dinner. Um, but it's taco night, so that's exciting. And then tomorrow is our first day of skiing, which is intimidating but that's okay so um i guess i will show you guys what we end up doing tonight and skiing tomorrow all right so here we are in breckenridge we were at peak eight this day and this was first day of skiing so i had to get my ski legs under me and honestly i was fatigued after two runs down the bunny slopes so um i actually went to the coffee shop got a cinnamon toast crunch latte it was so good and split a bagel with one of my friends she got a matcha and ryan wanted me to leave this video in here of him coming into the coffee shop greeting us um, and here is lunch. I'm dead. I died. I'm dead. I'll see you later. Yeah, so I was very fatigued. So I actually took the gondola down after lunch at about one o'clock and just headed back to the, um, to the cabin because I was so dead. I took the bus back, took a shower, relaxed. And then we did go out for dinner this night on the town. So if you've ever been to Breckenridge, they have this beautiful little... Um, old mining town actually in the central downtown area and we went to this place called fatty's for dinner it was supposed to have great pizza and in fact it did um, i think the crust was honestly the best part uh, ryan and i split a margarita with a salad and then the rest of the crew got this i can't even remember what it is but it has like broccoli and peppers and stuff and then we found this beautiful little area with some lit up trees. Honestly, you guys, it was like Christmas all over again. They had not taken down any other Christmas decorations. I loved it. And then we went to the mountaintop cookie shop and got some cookies for dessert because it just sounded so good. And I made them come back after and take more pictures in these beautiful Christmas lights. Just honestly so gorgeous. And those cookies were amazing. So now we're on to skiing day two. I was so much more confident this day. Like honestly, I had a lot of fun skiing on day two. Day one, I was just exhausted and like not having a good time. I like cried every time I fell down. But day two, I was so much better. Um, and I really like felt like I had it and it was actually fun by the end of it. This is us at the top of the peak. I did a few blues this day. It was actually like really fun and I ended it on a really good note. <laughs> wow. Nice job. You're doing great. This is, that was literally my favorite video ever because I'm going so slow and I was like, see you later, losers, to the boys on the slopes. It was so funny. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm freezing. <laughs> I look like a purple marshmallow. <laughs> but it's beautiful snow outside today. So go and grab a drink. See you soon. All right, so this is after day two and I did leave at like two o'clock and I actually met up with the rest of the girls from our crew and we kind of did a little bit of shopping around Breckenridge. We went to this beautiful honey store called Bjork's. Definitely recommend it if you um, are in Breckenridge. We also checked out a few shops with some local pottery and things like that. Honestly, I love shopping in these little towns. Everything is so beautiful and so cute and you can find nice, unique, handmade stuff. And um, I did do some damage. We also found this little like town square mall. It's an outdoor mall that they have in town. And we stopped over here for a little bit as well. We are Autobots. We come in peace. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't say Autobots roll out. Okay, anyways. And we stopped for coffee because I have to have coffee every single day, of course. I can't remember what latte I got. I think I had a chai latte this day. And we were really looking for some like gourmet um, chocolates and stuff. So we found this Rocky Mountain um, 
chocolate shop, I believe. I'll show you the packaging later, but honestly, everything in there was so amazing. I still have chocolates that I'm munching on, and it's um, Monday, so. It's still so pretty. It is. You can see all the way to the top. Honestly, our view from our cabin was the most gorgeous thing ever, and I love it. Last day in Breckenridge. Yeah, I'm very cold. There's a lot of snow. As you can tell, I was delirious, but um, we explored the town again before we headed out today and of course got another latte. Um, I don't remember what I got this day, but this shop was really amazing because they had so many pastries here and they had a lower deck that was actually for like breakfast and stuff, like real hearty food. So I'll just let you enjoy this montage of um, cute mugs and bakery items.
and wish our friend happy birthday with little bitty crowns and a princess present. Yay! The freaking grandma's house is awesome.
Hello guys, Editing Victoria here because I forgot to finish the vlog again and it is Monday night and I am finally editing this vlog. Honestly, I took all of Sunday to recover, well, all of Saturday afternoon after we took our flight. Our flight was at like 11, so we got back around 4 o'clock in Houston and I just took the rest of the day to relax and unpack and then Sunday we just honestly laid in bed and then transition to laying on the couch all day so that was great and today is monday honestly today at work wasn't that bad it was pretty great so yeah that's the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed seeing me ski on those days last week and then just like exploring the towns with me that was a lot of fun to film i love filming road trip videos especially when it's like cherished memories for me honestly that's the best part of vlogging is going back and watching those videos and reliving those experiences especially when they're with other people as well it's so much fun i go back and revisit my vlogs from like 2018 and 2019 from when i did them when i was in college like i just love going back and watching my travel vlogs it is honestly my favorite thing ever so I really hope you guys enjoyed that um I try to keep it relaxing with like all the music and a few kind of snippets of me talking in there because I kind of just didn't really talk that much in my videos um but I hope you enjoyed some of the candid moments as well um but yeah it was so much fun I loved Colorado honestly I really love the cold weather I love dressing for the cold weather I don't know if I like the cold weather especially not like six degree weather but it was still a ton of fun. I had a lot of fun skiing. I'm glad I only did it for two days because I didn't hurt myself or anything and I still had a good time. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope that it was really relaxing and enjoyable for you guys. Um, let me know down below if you have plans to go anywhere anytime soon. I know spring break is coming up. I'm sure you guys have some travel plans. So let me know down below. I'm really interested to hear from you. But yeah, that's everything for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.